Welcome back guys. Let me discuss the first bug from our list. Let me show you how to impersonate a user via insecure login. In this video, I'm going to show you what kind of severe consequences can happen at the intersection of login functionality and insecure session management. So let me first discuss a story so that you've got an understanding of the problem. Let's assume that the user is logged out and the session ID of the user, in short SID, is ABC, just for the simplicity. And this is a non-authenticated session ID because the user is logged out. Okay. Next, the attacker comes in and the attacker learns a user's session ID. Well, it is useless at this moment because the user is logged out. So the attacker cannot do anything with this information. But let's carry on our story and you will see what interesting can happen later on. So next, the user logs in to the web application and the user provides, for example, email and password. And after that, the user is authenticated and the user is recognized by session ID. And this is authenticated session ID at this time, right? So the user has been authenticated after providing email and password. And now the only piece of data that is used by the web application to recognize the user is the session ID. This is how web application works. Now we are talking about authenticated session ID because the user is authenticated. So far, so good. Now let's assume that the session ID, in short SID, has not been regenerated at the time of authentication. In other words, it has still the same value. So let's assume that the value of SID is still ABC. Now we've got something very interesting from the attacker's point of view, because now the attacker can impersonate a user. Because look at that. At this moment, non-authenticated session ID is equal to authenticated session ID. There are the same. We've got still the same SID. So at the very beginning of the story, when the user was logged out, the session ID that the attacker was able to learn was useless because the user was logged out. But now the user is logged in using the same uh, value of session ID, so now this is no longer useless to the attacker. Now the attacker can use this session ID to get access to the user's account because as I told you, once the user is successfully authenticated, then the only piece of data that is used by the web application to recognize the user is session ID. Can you see that? It's beautiful. This kind of intersection of very sensitive functionality, like a login, and broken session management. And you see that it can lead to very severe consequences. Now believe that you understand what is going on in the story. So I'm going to jump right now to the demo because I can't wait to present it to you in practice, how you can, well, actually see if this kind of problem happens in the web application or not. So let's jump to the demo. Hello guys, how are you? It's time for the first demo in this course. I'm gonna show you how you can impersonate a user via insecure login. In other words, I'm gonna show you how you can find out whether this kind of attack is possible in your web application. As you can see, right now I am logged out. So let me first check my non-authenticated session ID. For this purpose, I will use uh, Cookies Manager because Cookies Manager allows me easily to play with the cookies in the web application. Here is my um, session ID. The name of the uh, cookie with session ID is PHP SysID. My web application is hosted on the domain example.com. And here is the value of my uh, session ID. And to be more precise, this is the value of non-authenticated session ID because right now I am locked out. Okay, let me 
copy the value of this non-authenticated session ID. So I'll copy it. I'll close Cookies Manager. And I will paste this value here in the document. And I will put some comment like, this is non-authenticated session ID. Okay, so far, so good. What I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to provide in the very same document also the value of authenticated session ID and I'm going to compare them, right? So now let me go back to uh, my web uh, application and let me log in. So uh, I will provide my email and my password and I will click login. As you can see in the upper right corner, there is my name, David, and well, it suggests that I am indeed authenticated right now. I will click it uh, so that you can see my profile now, no doubts, I am really authenticated. Okay, so I have been authenticated. So in terms of session management, in terms of session ID, right now we are talking about authenticated session ID, right? So let me go again to Cookies Manager and let me copy the value of my session ID. Right now I am authenticated, so we are talking about authenticated session ID. I'm gonna copy this value and I'm gonna paste this value to my file. And I'll put a comment that this is authenticated session ID. Now let's make a short comparison. As you can see, the values of non-authenticated session ID and authenticated session ID are the same. In other words, the session ID has not been regenerated at the time of authentication, which is really great from the attacker's point of view. Because as I explained to you in the previous video, the attacker can learn the non-authenticated session ID of the user when the user is logged out, at that time it is useless piece of information for the attacker, but then the user comes in, the user provides email password, the user becomes authenticated, and once the user is authenticated, then the only piece of data that is used by the web application to recognize the user is a session ID. And if the session ID, authenticated session ID, is the same as the non-authenticated session ID at the very beginning, before logging in, then you will end up in problem because then the attacker can get access to your account without knowing your email and password. Can you see that? Can you see how beautiful it is from the attacker's point of view? The attacker does not have to know your login and password in order to get access to your account. And now you see how powerful it is to do security testing of session management. In other words, broken session management can lead to very severe consequences. So uh, now I believe that this is clear uh, and you see that you can do this kind of testing very quickly and I believe that you understand uh, all the steps. So uh, I hope it has been informative for you and let me jump uh, to the next bug on our list.